Royal author Duncan Larcombe believes the Queen will be proud of Prince William, particularly because with his work on the environment, he is following in Prince Philip's footsteps. The royal commentator told OK! Magazine, Prince William is putting himself absolutely at the forefront of the environmental movement. The Queen will be very proud, especially as he's following in the footsteps of Prince Philip, who was the original environmentalist at a time when he was almost alone in his thinking. Prince Charles has continued that legacy for the past 20 years, building on his father's commitment to raising environmental awareness and now Prince William is doing so as well. In October last year, William officially launched the Earthshot Prize, an initiative that will see five individuals who have created workable solutions to tackle environmental issues being awarded £1 million every year for the next decade. The winners will be established by a council, which will include the Duke of Cambridge and people who have distinguished themselves for their conservation and environmental work. Ahead of the first ever award ceremony, taking place in mid-October, William has also penned the introduction to a companion book to his initiative, Earthshot, How to Save Our Planet. This book, written by Colin Butfield and Johnny Hughes and to be released on September 30th, will highlight the urgency of the environmental challenges faced by the planet, showcase studies and feature contributions from the awards council members. William learned much about the environment and the challenges it is facing from his father. Appearing on BBC Radio 4 last October, he was asked about the Prince of Wallace stance and warnings on the environment for which, decades ago, he was considered dotty. The Duke said, I regularly wonder what my father's banging on about and I am sure every son thinks the same. But no, publicly, with my father's environmental credentials, he's talked about this for a long time and long before people cottoned on to climate change. So I've always listened to and learned and believed in what he's saying. But I know it's a very hard sell, 40 years ago, to predict and see some of the slow-moving catastrophes we're heading towards. Charles started voicing his concerns for issues such as plastic waste and air pollution before they were widely considered issues. Last year, marking the 50th anniversary of his first landmark speech on the environment, recalled how his warnings had been received. He said, I was considered rather dotty, to say the least, for even suggesting these things, rather like when I set up a reed bed sewage treatment system at Highgrove all those years ago. That was considered completely mad. As noted by Mr. Larkham, both Prince Charles and Prince William were preceded by Prince Philip in their interest in nature and the environment. The late Duke of Edinburgh was widely considered a passionate environmentalist, particularly interested in conservation. Sir David Attenborough, a celebrated natural historian who also sits in the Earthshot Prize Council, praised the late Duke's interest in nature shortly after his passing. He said, he was right there at the beginning at a time when conservation didn't mean much to many people. Even in the 60s and 70s, he saw it universally. Much like his grandfather, William has shown an interest in conservation for decades. In 2005, he became the patron of Tusk, which pioneers and promotes conservation initiatives across the African continent. Moreover, in 2020, he became the patron of two conservation charities, Fauna and Flora International and the British Trust of Ornithology, passed on to him by his grandmother and grandfather respectively. The work of these charities, 
Kensington Palace said at the time, aligns with Williams' long-standing work around conservation and support for communities protecting their natural environment for future generations. Related articles Queen in special nod to Prince Philip's closest lady friend Queen. Made up for her mistake. After Princess Diana's death with Beau Queen's courtiers rather Johnson's trip to Balmoral didn't go ahead.